We welcome everybody to the Garden State. EA Sports coverage of the NFL finds us at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Today, boy, what a matchup. Two NFL franchises with so much history, so much tradition, getting set to do battle here. As it'll be the Dallas Cowboys taking on the New York Giants. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. taking the reins with the Cowboys it's Tony Pollard they'll be brought down on the 30 yard line after a gain of six Brandon all things considered they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them and the ball on the 30 here second and four gonna run again here with Pollard and he'll scratch out a yard up to the 30, and that's all. And they'll look to avoid an early three and out here on third and four. To throw is Prescott. And he's able to hook up with Michael Gallup. And he will have a Cowboys first down as he'll be marked down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 14 yards, good for a Cowboy first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. Now Prescott. Tosses the out route here to Gallup. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants 36. And now following the completion, we're going to get a stoppage here for an injury. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Play fake. Here's Prescott. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Here's Prescott. And they're not able to hook up there, incomplete. What would look like a march to the end zone has hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Now Prescott. Buying time to his left. Oh, Prescott stripped. And the Giants have it. It's picked up. Does the big boy have the juice? And they will finally get him as he's all the way down near the 40-yard line.
Now the NFC's leading rusher a season ago. Here's Saquon Barkley. Now the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. Second down, here's Barkley again. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. Four yards the pickup, first down. But well, we always talk about good down and distance, allowing offenses to expand their playbook. Well, second and two, that means your playbook's wide open. You can run just about anything. But a lot of times, the play caller, he just looks down at his sheet, sees the short yardage runs, and goes to one of those. Just a one-yard pickup on the play, and it'll be second down. Jones with a handoff to Barkley. It's a four-yard pickup there, and it leaves him with third and five. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. And on third down, the Cowboys bring in an extra defensive back. Throwing, Jones. This one goes out wide for Barkley. And he will have a Giants first down as he's able to get eight yards there on third and five. And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially if the running back has skills like a receiver, and you're aware of that before the game even begins. So throughout your practice sessions, you're going to want to be aware of him. Where is he like? And he will take it on in for a Giant touchdown. 18 yards for Saquon Barkley. And the Giants take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. A solid blocking up front from the guys on the offensive line allowed him to get in for the touchdown. Yeah, some might say that the guys on the offensive line were in concert. I used to have a coach who called it marrying up. Meaning, when you get on a guy, you just stay right there. Each guy has his own assignment. That allowed the runner to make the big move towards the end zone. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. Cavante Turpin now from his end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. They had the fumble on the last drive, wound up leading to the opening touchdown. Now they'll try again here, first and 10. They'll run with Pollard to begin the drive. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Not a lot of running room there. Not a place to make a cut and kind of exit out because they had everything bottled up. Looked to me like the linemen were taking on their blocks really well and giving up no creases. Balled at the 26, second and seven. Here's Pollard again. Room here to run. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter.
A give to Pollard, running left. And after the good gain last play, this time they say, uh-uh, as he's going to be stopped behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Part of the thinking when you bring in extra tight ends, you're hoping that each of your guys gets those one-on-one -on -one blocks and creates a crease for your runner. You know what the converse is, though? You've got to win those one-on-one -on -one blocks. And when you don't, that's the result you end up with. Going to take a shot for Gallup. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Offenses all over continue to be aggressive, and most people never turn down a shot at a deep ball. But oftentimes, it attracts a little bit of extra attention, and it did on that play, and that one got knocked away. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Looking to throw, Prescott. Pass complete to Jalen Tolbert. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. A gain of 39 that time. Oftentimes now, offenses aren't nearly as precise as days gone by. They just tell receivers, find an open patch of grass and let the quarterback find you. And that's exactly what they did on that play. First with the pass through the air, nice chunk of yardage there, and then additional pickup with his legs after the catch. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. They have three tight ends in that formation. That's almost a universal sign that they're planning to run the football. But how about the defense there? They met force with force and caused a stack up behind the line of scrimmage and threw him for a loss. After one, 7 nothing on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Cowboys in possession. Second and 11 now. Prescott now. This is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. Brandon Cooks, a 14-yard touchdown. And the Cowboys are an extra point away from evening this one up. Well, on that connection, it looked like they maybe had some pre-play communication. Maybe one of them noticed an area that was open in the defense to get the pass to. When you put the time in, sometimes you have that great silent communication that you just noticed right there because the best quarterback-receiver combos in the NFL, they know how to make those adjustments at the line of scrimmage when they see something pre-play, and they got it done there. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. On the return, here's Gary Brightwell. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. So the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive. Now Jones. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. So the incomplete pass there, but the roughing the passer call bails them out. Which means you have to stay on the field on defense longer because you've given the offense free snaps, not to mention the free yardage after that mistake. So now a fresh set of downs, first and 10 after roughing the passer. Back to throw, Jones. He dumps it off to Barkley. Call it a gain of a yard, and that'll bring up second down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. From the 43, here's a second down and nine. 
up the middle with Barkley. And he'll be tackled right on the midfield logo. 42 yards on the ground for him so far. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. A strong pickup of 11 keeps their drive alive. Oh, he's got the full package. He can spin. He can juke. He can make you miss. He can drop his shoulder on you. Some of that elusiveness we saw at Penn State has definitely translated to the NFL game. Saquon Barkley hit the proper buttons and turn him loose. Here's Jones on first and 10. And this is caught inside the five. And he'll be out of bounds. An explosive 38-yard pickup. That is the exact right play call against that defense. So a hat tip to the offensive play caller because he won that part of the chess match. But give credit to his players as well. They won the execution part of it. They'll try to run it in, going option right. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. It's a one-yard touchdown run, and the Giants have taken the lead. Nice job of polishing off that drive, but all the credit there goes to that play prior. Yeah, it certainly does, because after that big play, I think resistance almost felt futile at that point, didn't it? And the very next play, they come right back, quick, fast, and in a hurry, and put it in the end zone. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. This fielded right at the goal line. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Dallas offense back out onto the field. They trail a one-score deficit, 14-7, as they come up first and 10. throwing Prescott and that's complete to Cooks so the completion good for seven there and it'll be second down Option play, here's Pollard. And nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line. He'll get back only to the line of scrimmage. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Trying to run for it with Pollard. And he's brought down, but not before picking up the first with a very effective stiff arm. Third and two, right? So this is a situation where low man has got to win at the line of scrimmage. But it's not just the low man winning. It's the low man who's winning with some force. And they had that to pick up the first down. Barely picking it up, but they did. Pollard gets it off the option. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. So that time they get the tight end on the hold. Normally he's a pretty good run blocker, but this time he just didn't get his arms extended and let go quickly enough. The flag came out as a result. Up, 
Pollard will take it up the gut. And he'll rumble for about five, up close to the 40. It's not a huge breakaway run, but if your starting running back finishes the game with averages of five or six yards per touch, you'll take that every single time. Second down, Prescott. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. The offense on third down tonight, they've been good. Three for four thus far. This is third and 11. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. Open man lamb, it's complete. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. And they'll get this just to the 47, one yard gain. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. Prescott now on second down. Swinging this out for Pollard. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. And that's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. On third down, it's Prescott. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Ferguson. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 37. Give them 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Out of the gun, a give to Pollard. And he'll be taken down after a short gain as that takes us to the two-minute warning. Here's Prescott. Man open downfield is Gallup. He's got it. Touchdown! Michael Gallup, 36 yards. And the Cowboys are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. Great corner out there. Not only able to catch it, turn it upfield, and get into the end zone. It usually involves a little bit of an extra move, doesn't it? You've got to get them thinking that you're moving to the middle of the field and you're breaking away to that corner. Boy, that was well executed. Point after, right down the middle. And we are tied at 14. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. And New York set to take the field. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth 
if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he led him just a little bit too much trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground incomplete. From the 21, it's second and 10. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Got him. Oh, he put it on the carpet, a fumble. It's picked up by the Cowboys. And his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. Prescott now after the fumble recovery. And his throw is going to be incomplete. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Prescott. Cooks on the quick slant. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Slant route's effective no matter who's running the route and catching the ball. But when you have a receiver of that stature, you have to be a little bit more precise throwing it. You don't have the same catch radius with the bigger targets. And the Giants will go with six defensive backs here on third. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. Able to hit his target, Lamb. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. Well, field goal gets you the lead, and they're in range, but they're not looking to settle for three. They're thinking six. That's a nice throw there on third down to keep the chains moving. So here's a first and ten now down inside the 20. Prescott to throw it. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Tony Pollard out of the backfield, the intended target. And now it's second down. Off the play fake, Prescott. And this ball is caught by Lamb. Touchdown, Dallas. Three touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. And now, of course, all scoring plays are reviewed, and I think they're going to take an extra long look at this one. Now the try here for the extra point. It's up and good, and that'll make the score The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. And the Giants with one final possession here in this first half. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it. And we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball. Just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. And they'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. So 
So we have reached halftime here with the visiting Cowboys out on top. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! The Giants set to get the football, and they trail here as we get back underway in the second half. Here's Brightwell to return it, and his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. Here's the Giants' offense now getting set to start the third quarter. Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point. And now that he's getting the ball to start the second half, how about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? He'll put that all together and come out with something really strong, I believe, to get things going here in the third quarter. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Well, they always talk about playing great team defense, and that was an excellent example right there. Everyone on assignment, no one in the wrong spot, everyone filling their gaps. From the 22, Jones. And yeah, this one nearly intercepted. Boy, that would have been a great time for their first pick, but instead it's third down. Those are the ones you dream of as defenders. I think if he gets eyes on the ball a little bit earlier, he might come away with it. Instead, it's going to wind up as just an incomplete pass. Jones on third down. Got a man, Slayton. And he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Looking to throw. Jones, once again, he finds Slayton. Another catch for him there. This one good for 11. First down. A couple of first downs right in succession. And this is an offense that can really use a good drive. And they're off to a fast start here. So after two first downs, they get another here. First and 10 at the 45. They'll look to throw again. Finding Sterling Shepard for his first catch. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. Barkley inside handoff. And a pretty good run there as he gets seven down to the 33. That was a good run, and it got to the second level. And what I mean by that is that's where the linebackers usually play, first level being the defensive front, last level being the secondary. But the strong safety position ended up making the tackle, and oftentimes we call them a hybrid. Combination defensive back, combination linebacker. We saw the linebacker make the stop. Jones throw complete here to Waller. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. 11 more yards there, and this methodical drive continues. That's a nice catch there. Remember, he had the fumble earlier. No way he was giving up the ball in that situation. Secured it tight to his body and picks up the first down. A first down carry for Barkley, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. They'll go to Barkley again. Gets past one man, and he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. 80 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. Well, that's how you get right up off of the map because on the last play, they stoned him in the backfield and dropped him for a loss. But he's the type of guy that scared me a little bit because he's not daunted. Just got right back up, showed some confidence, and picked up a first down with his very next run. Throwing Jones. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. 
I do think it's fair to say that they were caught off guard a little bit when he decided not to throw it on first down. But give them credit. They recovered in time to deny him the first down yardage. But it's only second and short. So that run is still likely to lead to a new set of downs. On second down, here's Barkley. And he is in. Touchdown, New York. Saquon Barkley, his second touchdown of the night. And the Giants are an extra point away from drawing level. But just power football there down near the goal line. Give it to him. He's able to push his way across. Yeah, they went heavy there. Sometimes you have those big offensive linemen come in, have to report like they're eligible. But all they're doing is getting a good stance, blocking, and getting their runner across the goal line. So a tie ball game here as the kicks away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Cowboys offense now, they head out for their first possession of the second half. After that last touchdown we just saw, Charles, we got ourselves a brand new ball game all tied here in the third as they have their first possession of this second half. And Brandon, this drive is all about one word to me, and that's the word answer, because they're trying to answer the momentum the other offense picked up in tying the game, because not only if they score and they feel better about themselves, they'll retake the lead and maybe set the tone for the rest of the half, keeping them in the driver's seat. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're a back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. There's a ball thrown right side and complete, and he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. A gain there of 30 big ones. When you get into the second half of a tie ball game, you start realizing that every play takes on a bigger significance and this is pretty significant right here. This is where you start putting the pressure on that secondary, and that's a job well done there. First down, Prescott. Throw left side complete. That's Ferguson. A good pick up there, 26 yards. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver, although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice gain. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. They toss it down to Pollard. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Tony Pollard, a 15-yard touchdown run. And the Cowboys have broken the tie. I can't help it, partner. I love backs who have a lot of burst. Yeah, they ran the toss play. By the way, sometimes you'll hear toss and pitch used interchangeably, but that was the toss. Well, for me, a toss, quarterback takes the snap, turns around, tosses it to like the tailback. Like an egg underhand. Yeah, like an egg underhand, really with two hands. And a pitch, usually like you're running an option-type play, and you pitch it out there to the trailing back. Goes end over end like a field yeah, goal. Yeah, where you turn it over, make sure that thumb turns down and the ball flips end over end slowly and delicately to your running back. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. 
and tackled at the 21 yard line so a net negative there of four yards and now out come the Giants they did what they had to do to start this third quarter went down got the touchdown to cut the lead but the matching touchdown a moment ago and we're right back where we started at halftime yeah you're exactly right partner they had a little bounce in their step after scoring that first touchdown but the defense gave one up and that's the problem right now. Can they get better play from their defense while they continue to score on offense? Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. I'm sure this isn't a novel thought, but maybe run some simpler routes instead of trying to get it all back in one shot. Defense certainly appears to be ready for them. Try and get it back little by little instead of in big chunks. Third quarter from MetLife Stadium. Here's a second and ten. In motion, Slayton. Here's a give to Barkley. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. 95 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. He continues to be effective running the football, a big reason that they have the lead. And I love one of the quotes that I read about him where he said, of himself, I love it when a team just hops on my back and I just carry them along. They keep it with Barkley on first down. Nifty move. Now he's free at the 35. He may go. Touchdown, Giants. Saquon Barkley, 67 yards. And the Giants are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Bottom line, when you play a runner with these talents, you've got to be able to wrap up and get him on the ground or the first person who gets there, hold him up long enough for the next wave to get there and get him down. Otherwise, he will continue downfield and find pay dirt. Gano the extra point, and we are all tied at 28. So right back to square one, tied at 28 as he kicks it away. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. Dallas offense set for this next drive. And their lead has evaporated in this third quarter. It's tied once more as they begin with a first and 10. Looking to throw, Prescott. He's got his man, it's Gallup. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Now a give here to Pollard. And he edges forward, but only gets a pair of yards out of it. It's second down. Well, you know that old expression, it's not my night? It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. And some room to maneuver. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. A big hitter there. A first down gain of 26 yards. Got to give a nod of appreciation to some of those guys up front over on that left side. Several key blocks sprung him. No appreciation for the guys from the backside that didn't allow any leakage and any, anybody could run uh, him down from the nah, backside. They're, they're at the kids' table. Okay, so so front side guys good, yep. back side guys. Man, that, that's what you're supposed to do. I've had better. Okay, either way. Worked out quite well, didn't it? A nice, sizable gain. Back now here at MetLife Stadium. All even as we get ready to start the fourth.
Prescott looks to throw on first. This is caught. It's Cooks. And they'll get this down to the 10. Add the gain here to the previous play, and it's better than 40 yards total. Boy, how about the speed with which this offense can get down the field? It's taken them no time at all to get down here, and now they're set up with a first and goal. A field goal could get them the lead, but it might not be enough here as they come up on first and goal. Now it's a bootleg with Prescott. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. Luke Schoonmaker from 10 yards out. And the Cowboys answer back with a touchdown of their own to break our tie and take the lead here in the fourth. And now remember, all touchdowns are reviewed. And in a tight game like this, they're going to take a good long look at it. They'll go again here from the 10-yard line on second and goal. Now a shotgun handoff to Pollard. And from the nine, they get this to the five-yard line. But a spotlight hit him once already tonight as he got into the end zone. He was trying to make it a double spotlight, wasn't he? But credit the defense, bottling him up, not letting him get in for the second score there. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play. Third and goal. Throwing. Prescott. And this is going to be incomplete. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. This to break our fourth quarter tie. And his kick is good. And they have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. So the drive here ends with a field goal. It does give them the lead, but this one's still certainly a long ways from over. It definitely puts a lot of pressure on your defense to hold the lead, right? They're happy to have it and happy to be out there trying to do so. But I know as a former player, in the back of their mind, they're thinking, why don't you score the touchdown and seal this thing? The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. And the Giants ready to come out now. And now they find themselves trailing following the field goal. Still a good amount of time in this fourth quarter, but this drive very well could determine the outcome of this ballgame. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 18. He'll drop it off with Saquon Barkley. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Well, at the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to Huddle and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. Jones fakes the give to Barkley. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Fortunate to get that football back because trailing here in the second half, last thing they needed was to lose the possession. And the word I think of here is opportunity because it could have been lost there, their chance to score points. But the opportunity for the defense was to go ahead and really close this game down if they were able to get possession. So possession still theirs, but now they face a third down. Now Jones. And that is incomplete. Well, that play was certainly a little bit different because on the previous play, he was sacked. This time, protection a lot better. Had time to survey the field and still couldn't find an open receiver. Here's Jamie Gillen now as his first punt will come from inside his own end zone.
He'll look to set up his blockers. A very nice punt that time, but they get 11 back on the return. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. Good starting position for the Cowboys here as they come up first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 49. Here's a throw, complete right side to start things out. So the completion gets him just a yard, and it'll be second down. Now that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. Meanwhile, Dax throw pulled in by Lamb. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. His fifth catch tonight, and it's good for a first down. It'll be a handoff to Pollard. And even 100 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's going on. If you can keep getting gains like that, Charles, with the lead here in the fourth quarter, I mean, keep running it, right? No doubt about it, but what the offense coordinator has to do is understand they're going to continue to stack the line of scrimmage. What runs do you have in your arsenal that'll work against a stacked box and continue to move the ball? Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. That's a pretty play there coming out of the backfield. But as that back, you've got to be conscious of making sure you're securing the football. When you get out in open field, sometimes you get a little loose with it as you're trying to get up ahead of steam. Make sure you keep it close to your body because those defenders are trying to punch it free. He does a nice job there protecting the ball and picking up a first down. That'll go for a gain of seven, and it'll be second down. They'll run with Pollard. A beautiful fake. Yeah, the Cowboys are going to be set up with a first and goal as good running gets them down to about the four-yard line. Well, you know me, partner. I never tell them to back off of being aggressive, but sometimes you see the consequences when you're overly aggressive and you don't secure tackles. Guys break through. Trying to sell out to pry that football loose, and just as you said, cost some yardage. Yeah, you got to go get him. Stand him up first before you go for the ball. Don't just go for it initially. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an outta boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Line of scrimmage. Again, the four-yard line. Second and goal. Pollard is not going to get a whole lot. Maybe a yard down to the three call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here it's third and goal now the objective there I mean yes the positive gain that's nice but work some clock yeah you're exactly right but the problem for them is still within a possession so they can't just sit on it running the ball they'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well Pollard again and he is into the end zone for a cowboy touchdown Tony Pollard with his second touchdown of the night. And the Cowboys are able to build on to their fourth quarter lead. And they would not be denied on the ground, powering it in just one play after they got stopped short. And how about how many tight ends were on the field? Because in today's NFL, we think of the tight end more as a pass catcher. But this group, they tell them you've got to be able to run block to stay on this team. And they committed to it and got it done right there.
Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. New York ready to go again offensively. And the script really is flipped for them. The momentum on the other sideline, and now they have to try and battle back from a two-score deficit. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 26. They'll start out on the ground at Saquon Barkley. And yeah, this will be a Giants first down as he's able to get this up to the 37-yard line. He continues to have a big night here under the lights carrying the football. And some guys prefer night games. For whatever reason, their bodies react a certain way. They love the spotlight. Maybe that's what it is. The best seats in the house, the ones where he's carrying the football for his offensive teammates, the worst seats... The 11 guys try. There he goes, right side. Down the sideline he goes. And down to the 16-yard line. And the offense is saying to itself right now, if only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. To Barkley on the check down. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Here comes second down at five. To throw is Jones. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. And he'll be out of bounds. And sometimes when you run a screen pass down in the red zone, it's really tough to create a lot of room to operate. The field's pretty condensed. But that was really well designed there. And they're able to pick up a first down. Here we go. First and goal. Now Jones. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. You got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. They get one more as the extra points up and good. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. Well, they can smell victory, partner. They can see it on the horizon, but certainly we're not done yet here. Defense still has three timeouts, and obviously this is a very slim lead they're holding on to. And let's face it, the easiest way to get this done, challenge your ground game line your tight ends your receivers anyone who's going to lay down a block don't let there be penetration because they're going to stack the line of scrimmage and maybe bring extra people to the ball if you can do that make them burn their timeouts run out the clock life will be good but if you really want to gamble a little bit a quick play action quick throw might be able to get it done just make sure it's not incomplete and stop the clock Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Another run on second down. Try to cover up. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next.
And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Here's Prescott. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Ferguson. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Well, probably the only thing he did wrong there was go out of bounds, nursing this fourth quarter lead. You want to stay in, eat the clock. Yeah, you got to love the effort, the catch, the extra yardage, but you got to know the situation. Stay in bounds, young man. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. The Giants going to burn their third and final timeout, and they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. And they'll indeed take a knee. Thirty eight yard line, second and eleven. Pollard will take it up the gun. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation. And taking care of the football, paramount, and he got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. Prescott, he goes down to a knee, and that should just about do it. Well, this was a very close ball game at halftime, Charles, but in the second half, that offense kind of kicked things into another gear, and they were able to pull away for the victory. And, Brandon, I think they're the type of team that just looked in the mirror and said, hey, ton of pressure on, but we're the type of team that can flat out handle it. They stood up, stood up with confidence, and made it happen for a victory. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gauden. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. From MetLife Stadium, good night, everybody.